welcome back now we are going to look at controller routing and so far we have seen how you can route using a closure function and this is the simplest way to define a route where a route is mapped to a specific path with a closure now we're going to pass all that http request to a controller class so we're going to create a controller and then direct laravel to pass all http requests to the to the method of that controller class so if you look at this route it's a route with controller method so every time this route receives a get request for this url that is the home page it will look for this controller class and then under that method called index it will take all that action which includes getting a view called welcome and if necessary retrieving the data from the models and passing it to the view so you, there's so much you can do with a controller because the main purpose of a controller is to handle user requests by retrieving the models and passing the necessary data to the view so a controller acts as a link between the model and the view retrieving the model and passing the necessary data to the view so let's see how this is done first on your terminal we need to check the command for creating a controller by running php artisan list so let's go under the make list and here you'll see we have this make controller so which will create a new controller class so this is a command now to create that controller so before you do that let's check the options you have for creating a controller I run php artisan make controller and then dash dash help so if you look at these options you can also generate a resource controller for a given model by flagging that controller with this dash dash model and then the name of the controller or of the model you can also create a resource controller by flagging that controller with dash dash resource or dash r you can also flag it with dash dash invocable or dash i to create a single method invocable controller class so we're not going to create this but this is just to show you the options you can use to create a controller so we're going to look at this them at this controller later for now let's run or create that controller and then we'll create our own methods so php artisan make controller and then the name of the controller that you're going to give and it's good practice to always give your controller a name that describes what that, that controller will be dealing with and because we'll be dealing with the views i'll call it page controller so remember also to follow that naming convention the name of the controller must be capitalized and in singular so enter and it says controller created successfully let's see from the app directory http controllers and there it is now we need to create a method which now will map it to the route so first let's go to that route file so web.php so let's create the first for the the route for the home page that is the welcome view so let's create that route i'll say route these are get request the url for the home page and then that class that controller class and then map it with add symbol so we're going to create a method called welcome on the controller class so we have not created that yet so i'm going to comment the first view method or the first route so let's go to the this class that is the page controller class and then define or create this method called welcome so this one is get a home page or the welcome view and then let's create that method we'll call it welcome and then return view which is welcome save 
now let's see from the browser go to the home page or just refresh so we are getting this undefined variable title on the welcome welcome view so let's change that remember we changed our method to view from view to get so replace this with welcome or basically home page view save let's see refresh and now as you can see we're getting that view so which means that controller class is working so that route is what let's do the same for these others so what I'll do is I'll duplicate this one three times and then I'm going to remove this so I'm going to, let's transfer these comments this one will be for the about and then remove everything now let's change the method this one will be about about us and this one will be web design save let's go now to that controller class and create those two methods so i'm going to duplicate this three times two times so this one is get the about us view let's change the method to about us and then finally get the web design view let's change this method to web design and then the view should be services dot notation web design now let's see from the browser so remember to remove from the those views let's remove that variable so that you don't get another error so this one will be about about us view save let's do the same for the web design view and replace this web design save now let's see from the browser go to the about us for four not found so let's change the link to about us so instead of changing the link let's change the route so i'll change this to about so that is the url change that refresh and now you can get that view back go to web design perfect so every method in this route is mapping to that method on that controller class so let's say let's say for example we change this method welcome to index let's see what will happen and here we have defined using the welcome method so let's go to the browser go to the home page and what you get is bad method call exception that says the page controller welcome does not exist so we need to 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 change if you look here you'll see let's go back and change now this to index go back refresh and now as you can see we're getting that view back so the, this method that you're calling which means you're mapping it to that controller class they must be the same so now let's organize this so i'm going to remove all this and now our code is neat and clean so see you in the next lecture.